another level. She's received a prestigious national award. ABC 7's Karen Meyer has her story. In 2004, Reba Leo created Circle Story, a series of portraits of individuals with significant disabilities. I've been doing work about disability since about 1997. Uh, I've been focusing on portraits of people who have interesting careers in the arts and in academia, activism. Um, I find someone whose work interests me. Born with spinal bifida, Weaver has always been interested in art. Her work has been shown in galleries and museums across the country. In 2000, her career expanded when she started teaching at the Art Institute of Chicago. I teach uh, figure drawing with an emphasis on anatomy, and I love it. I have great students, and the school has been very supportive, which is wonderful. You basically find the screen for headphones. Recently, Reba became the first winner of the Prestige Win Newhouse Award. He is the son of S.I. Newhouse, who is the head of, head of Condé Nast Publishing, which is Vogue and Vanity Fair. But this is really Wynne's project. Um, Wynne has been involved for quite a while in funding disability-related organizations. And for the first time, they are honoring talented artists with disabilities. People think that disabled artists are just doing therapy and that they're not professional and that there isn't anybody taking on the idea of disability in professional art. And what the Wynne Newhouse Foundation wants to do is is say, no, that's not true. There are people specifically taking on disability or being very open about being an artist with a disability. Weba will use the prize money to expand her circle of stories. There are people around the country that I've wanted to work with who either can't afford to come in and sit for me or they're too fragile to travel or something like that. So I have a number of trips lined up in the next few months to go. Um, and work with people that I've always wanted to, but haven't been able to afford to do that on my own. Carol Meyer, ABC 7 News. Now, Reba is also putting together the first Center for Disability, Culture, and Art at Access Living. For more information, go